Hello, all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there. This is Dragothian here, and we've already got first blood. Well, not we. Our KVK <laughs> has a first blood, and it is a self-inflicted wound. Look at this, 889, handling some inner kingdom diplomacy, doing some rallying. Um, this has been going on for about a few hours or so, so they're getting to have all the fun in KVK right off the bat. I'm assuming what happened, and I don't know everything here, right? But um, it looks like AABC wanted to participate in KVK and place their fort down, and other alliances inside of this kingdom decided that's not what they wanted to have in their game plan. That's not their strategy. So as I zoom out and really don't get any kind of anything here, let me see if I can simplify graphics, no help. Um, I've got some battle reports too to show you. So. Basically, AJ89 Fort got dropped here on top of AABC, and um, that was building. And AABC didn't take it down. I was surprised they didn't take it down if they really seriously wanted to hold this area. But as you can see, tons of negative titles uh, from the king on the players here. Um, there's basically all these players are roughly between 25 and 70 million. There's mostly... 50 million players here with a few 30s and sprinkled in um but aj89 owns the open field i mean you can tell all of these different oh, there's a king's buff too my goodness um thank you for the new sub mario destion so i mean a a aj89 owns the open field here i mean they've got about 30 armies spread around this area but they just lost the rally against this alliance fortress let me see if i can go into the lost kingdom chat and find that Fort Rally report, and here it is. Look at this. So, this was a, a Charles YSG Garrison against an Alex Mehmed rally lead. So, as you can see, a lot of reinforcements coming in. About an even trade from a dead perspective. Uh, severely wounded, obviously, a few more on the uh, defender side. And likely, there's a lot more T5 over here than there are on the attacking side. Uh, but the AOE dead and the Swarm dead more than made up for it. I mean, it's pretty substantial difference once you start looking at the Swarm dead and the AOEs that are hitting from YSG. I mean, look at this. This guy was just kind of sitting there vacant, just like his second commander slot in his army was vacant. He decided to stay vacant as well and lose 23,000 troops. Uh, same thing with this guy, uh, an extra 11,000 dead for no reason. 10,000 dead for no reason. Look at these number one. Troop armies, 6,800 dead, 9,800 dead. This looks like it was a, a love tap on the fort because both took dead. Same thing here. This was a nice little swarm where he lost 30,000 of his troops for his efforts. Another 30,000 dead there just from AoE. 10,000 dead from AoE. And the list keeps going. 21,000 AoE dead. This guy lost 112,000 troops, all of which were T5 Cav. My goodness. That double C-led army... Going to town on his dead count, on his own dead count. So um, not fair, first off, not fair. We, we have not been able to actually do anything. My goodness, Saud and Mulan taking some significant dead there, 100,000 dead T4 Cav for that effort. Um, <laughs> that's like Genghis, 153,000 dead T4 Infantry. Ethelfled Genghis Full Infantry. Yeah, we read that right. So 153,000 dead there. 75,000 dead. It's not fair. This is first blood for our KVK, Lost Kingdom 111. We did a little stream last night where we, we joined and all that good stuff. And we had a great time. Obviously, our kingdom, our starting zone is, is packed, jam full with players um, looking to experience KVK whether it's their first time or a repeat customer. However, this is happening on the other side of the map and there's nothing we can do but sit here and watch and enjoy. So I figured I'd bring that to you guys on the channel as well. So much dead. This, is, this hasn't even been a full day yet. So it's gonna take probably the, the entirety of this next rally for me to go through this battle report with how many dead. Oh my goodness, Ethelflaed Julius, what are you doing with your life? Full archers. Ethelflaed Mehmed. T4 infantry. I don't 
Okay, I hear I still hear it. 166, Ethelflaed, Mechmed. At least it's mixed troop. That's something. So it may be a 3v4, guys, instead of a 3v5. I mean, I think the 889 Kingdom is going to finish itself off, have a little bit of self love. And, um. Oh, my goodness. Ethelflaed, Mechmed is, is a strong pairing. In Kingdom 889, Ethelflaed Mechmed. That's like the fifth time I've seen that in this report. 85k dead just for sitting there. This was this was quite literally somebody brought their troops out of their city to lose 85,000 troops. That's all they did, and it was all T5 infantry. Good job. Well done. You did exactly zero damage <laughs> to the opponent for your 85,000. T5 lost. My goodness. Oh my goodness. It still keeps going. There needs to be some kind of a like measuring bar on the right, like when you're scrolling so you can tell how far you are towards the bottom. Because I have no idea. I mean, this could, be, this could be going on for another 10 minutes. This might be a 20 minute video just of watching this rally report show that. I mean, this is absurd. Absurd. They own the open field. They were able to build their fort with impunity. And now they can't drop the fort of the alliance that they're trying to drop the fort that they built their fort for. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of a little mini subtly rooting for AABC. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, maybe these guys should have the kingdom. I mean, if they're taking on this alliance here, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Okay, that's the bottom. So clearly, I mean, massive troop losses. Uh, looks like this rally is doing a little bit better still in the yellow versus the uh, center fort being red. Eventually, these troops will run out of, or these players will run out of troops. But my goodness, I mean, look at this. So these are all AJ-89. Like, they're all the attacking alliance. I mean, they own the open field. I mean, this is about as owning the open field as you possibly can get. And almost all of it's T5. I mean, everything's gold. So, I mean, I... I don't know. It's so far away, I can't sit here and, and continually scout it for you to give you updated stats. But, I mean, Lost Kingdom chat's losing their mind. Um, it's pretty substantial here. Let me see if I can get down to the bottom. Shout out to everybody in Lost Kingdom, by the way. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Savages. Why Civil War? Well, I think, and again, this is just what I was told. 889 had a Civil War before. We even started really doing diplomacy, and then during diplomacy, they were having another civil war, and then now once they've landed in KVK, they continued. They've just continued it, so. You know. What are you, what are you supposed to do? This guy's sitting here bubbled, you know. Let's look at his stats. Ooh. That's a little sus. That's a farm account, sure. So, it looks like this rally is doing a little bit better. I'll end the video after this rally ends and see if maybe we see another report to go through real quick. But I just thought I'd give you guys a little taste of, of Lost Kingdom 111. It's not even been a day yet, and um, there's already massive Alliance Fortress rallies going down. And these guys are serious. There's a, there's some more here over here to the right. Let me see if I can get there. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is okay. There's another AJ eighty nine. These guys are just random TPing over here, trying to get over and support. Is that another Ethelfled Mechmed rally or Ethelfled Mechmed army? It is. Look at that. Ethelfled Mechmed uh, army right there. And there's a Alex Sun Tzu. That's a more classic pairing. I do like that. Richard Ethelfled also a more classic pairing. However, looks like he did his job. Lost a bunch of troops and is going home to lick the wounds. Belisarius Saladin is what this looks like. 889 evidently a huge fan of using mobility commanders on the open field as primary. Charles YSG, very good pairing. So it's not all bad. It's not all Ethelfled and Mehmed. We do have some good pairs. Alex Sun Tzu and Charles YSG being very good pairs. I like it a lot. Another 
Belisaria uh, Saladin. Well done there. Another primary. There's another one. Here we go. Of course, this one's got Dragon Lancer. This is the one. This is the one that's going to make the difference. This is the one that's going to make the difference in this, this fort battle over here going on to the left. Here is a classic pairing. Genghis, Saladin. Oh, no, no. He decided it's time to build. It's not a time to destroy. It's a time to build. Build relations. Build your kingdom. Now is the time. That Ethelfled mineral army deciding the flag's just not worth it. I don't want it anymore. This double C primary, full T5 coming over, inspecting the work of his citizens. Another stalwart warrior heading home. Charles, Sun Tzu, classic pairing. Very, very nice pairing. I love it. Doing some solid work, I'm sure. We're going to see him in the battle report very soon. Alex Eulji, another great pairing, although he looks a little light on the troop count. Probably in the 80,000 neighborhood. This Alex may only be a level 30 Alex or something like that. This city taking the full brunt and anger of AJ89. Really, really upset with what's going on here. Let's see if we can continue to... I hear more things going, and sure enough, this rally is still flowing. And look at all of the AoE here. My goodness. This Charles is doing some work. So just to give you another uh, insight, 130,000 durability for the AABC Alliance Fortress. The... Alliance Rallying has their fort over here. Only 92,500. That tells me that this pink magenta alliance is, in fact, a more superior alliance from a tech perspective. This also is likely leading to massive dead counts for AJ-89. Even though it may not impede their main alliances, it will impede their ability to wage war. Look at all these troops from AJ-89 spectating and staying inside of the AOE so that, you know, again, we can't join because we're Cav. You know, we're Cav here, so we can't join the, the Alex-led rally, but we can be here in support. We can be here emotionally for this Alex-led rally. I'm sorry, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Alex-led rally. I mean, these are solid pairings. Is this? Is it? Let's see if we can zoom in and find our Ethelfled March. Okay, so I see Saladin double C. That's a very good pairing. I see. Is that Genghis Edward? That's exactly what that looks like. And it looks like maybe Ethelfled Barca. Yeah, Ethelfled Barca. Okay, classic debuff pair. I like it. Did they switch? Please don't tell me they switched. I thought I saw an Alex shield going outwards. Okay, good. Okay, good. I I almost got scurred there. I was like, your main value. This guy's putting in the work. Look at this. So is this guy. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Reinforce, guys. You're doing a great job. This guy, not so much. This this army. I think he. I think it's the same guy. I think he's really just. He's doing what he can. Here we go. Here's some more reinforcement. Love it. Keep pouring them in, guys. You're doing a great job. That guy putting in a solid day's work. These guys just, again, in support with all these CAV for the infantry rally. In full support of this rally. Doing a great job. It is a full infantry rally from ex-Marine. So doing a great job keeping troop-type discipline in this rally. Back up to yellow, by the way. Um, with the reinforcements that have come in. And look at this, pouring in more and more T5 Legionnaires is AABC. This is fantastic. So this was meant to be a very quick video, but this is just so enticing and fun to watch. And this rally is going on for quite a while. I'm interested to see. Oh, there's a counter rally. Look at this, Edward counter rally. Here we go. 
the last time uh, Marine did his rally here, and here's going to be a ton of AoE dead from this Charles. The last time Marine did his rally, he let it die. He let it die. We saw sad faces going away from the Alliance Fortress here. Now AJ89 jumps into action, except for this guy. This guy's like, nah, we're good. We don't want to go anywhere near that uh, that YSG AOE. There's a Tamiris taking down this Edward counter rally. And, I mean, my goodness, the dead, the dead are substantial from AOE. And it's solid dead. Like, these, all these Cav Marches are not touching the fort. They're just taking dead. So, there's another one. Boom, there it goes. That's <laughs> about 100,000 dead right there. Bam, gone. Troops just didn't even exist. They used to. They used to. They said, my, my, the person behind my city that I, I trained, I got trained up for, that I volunteered for, that my player made, made resources and paid good money for, is going to take me to a fantastic fight where I can contribute and I can take down a few warriors before I myself die. I'm willing to sacrifice. But all they want in return is the ability to go ahead and take something out before they die. And their player is saying, no, wait. Your job is to stand around an AOE alliance fortress that we're rallying and just, just die. Just die. That's all I got to do. You've served your purpose, my friend. We have, we have seen better days, have we not? Times like these are what try men's souls. And if you're a troop in AJ-89 with really bad alliance tech, I feel for you. Now, it looks like this alliance fortress may in fact start to burn, but that may also give AABC just the reprieve they need to go ahead and reorganize and <laughs> heal, stop the flat or stop the fort from burning, and reorganize themselves so that AJ89 can in fact re-rally. This is just so fun to watch. It is back to spectator mode, people. This guy misclicking on the rally. Instead, parking right beside the rally. Taking probably thirty to 40,000 dead. There's another 15,000 dead. This is exactly why we're here, people. Supporting the rally. Understanding it's time to back off. Went ahead and did that. There he is. He, can, he joined the rally. Well done. Secret time. Going ahead and refreshing his army. As is LGCNS. Well done. Here comes Slug AJ coming in hot to rejoin his brothers in arms in this rally. Well clicked, my friend. AABC getting to move between cities with impunity. Look at this. Look at these guys. These guys are doing some serious work letting two armies come through unimpeded. Here's this guy saying, hey, wait a minute. I've got my Ethelflaed over here. I've got my Minna. You know what? I'm just going to go home. <laughs> These guys are doing some work. <laughs> so glad they're here. AABC monkey. A oh, there he is. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I need the meme, the gif where in the office where Dwight gets snuck up on by Angela. And he's like, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to be here. Here comes some more. No, those are both AJ-89. Maybe they saw that their brothers were asleep at the wheel over here. Oh, my goodness. This is so much fun to watch. So, here comes another Richard Charles. Well done on the pairings, guys. Alex YSG, fantastic pairing. Richard Alex, fantastic pairing as well. As you can see, this is not an ethnicity thing here. So AJ89, there are Korean players here, as well as an AABC. So this is not a, a Korean takeover kind of thing, or at least I wouldn't think it is, at least by the names. I don't know fully. 
so don't hold me to that. But just based off the names, it just seems like this kingdom does not want AABC to contribute at all for 889's prosperity and wealth. So much so, they're willing to spend millions of troops, send them to their graves, not even giving them memorials for their families, just leaving them on the battlefield. No markers. YSG's rain of arrows pouring down over everything they possibly can. AABC trying to do their best to hold this fort and help AJ89 understand the error of their ways. What I would love to see is a rally <laughs> on the AJ89 fort because their tech is terrible. I would love to see if they've got the... I mean, they're obviously pouring everything they can into this, this fort, right? But maybe an archer rally or a cav rally. Rally that other fort over there while Marine is rallying the AABC fort. Cause them to think twice. It can't just be a one-sided affair. Look at this guy doing work with his minna. There he, there he goes. This other guy said, you know what? Not worth it. Not what we're looking to do here. AABC, again, just being able to come out However they want. Not sure about this siege here. Is he sending out farmers? Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Not sure about that one. Or maybe he's sending out little... Okay, he might be sending out little troop hits because these guys are off territory. So maybe they're just sending out little, little raiding parties on these cities that are off territory. To uh, No, he's on territory. These are on territory. Hmm. There's some off territory. Looks like NS89 coming in hot, trying to show some support. They got one more flag, and they will, in fact, connect. And then we can have what we like to call in the rock group circles a double stuff situation. <laughs> Where AABC will find themselves in real trouble. As they will be taking not one, but two non Attilaticator rallies. And there goes another counter rally for AABC. Again, I would really look to see that rally. Because clearly, these AJ89 open field players, they are here for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to get around this Alliance Fortress and take dead for the cause. Because they certainly are not stopping the open field AABC marches from marching right to the fortress without even touching them. You can send a, a rally up to this Alliance Fortress with that Edward. Edward's super fast, especially in a nice rally with very good Alliance tech. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got problems. There it goes. Oh, no. I saw the, the garrison change. He lost his garrison commander, and as soon as that happened, it went bye-bye. This player right here saying, you know what? That deserves an emoji because we've done such a great job. Let's see if we can go to the Lost Kingdom chat and get a report. And then we can go ahead and wrap this video up, and then we'll certainly be doing some streaming a little bit later. But today is a work day, so I can't sit here and stream all day. Please give us a report. That's all I'm asking. That would really just round out. That would really round out our uh, our video here. And this AJ eighty nine guy maybe underestimated the AABC player here. It is a sixty four million player. He does have T five tech, plenty of T four it seems, and understanding situational awareness. Probably not the best place to be with one Genghis army against six open field marches. Well done to VMAX. Restarting to fill the Alliance Fortress again. This player here understanding, listen, we cannot let them be in the open field. Now, something the VMAX player should have done instead of just walking open field, he could have city hopped right on over there. 
He could have city hopped right on over there and not even been scratched. Learning experience, but well done all around for both sides. This is an incredible display of first blood for Lost Kingdom 111. And it's been an honor to tell you guys the story. Please give me a freaking battle report before I wrap the stream up. I want to show you a battle report. Let me see if I can just entice them a bit. I, I am recording. Battle report, please. <laughs> Let's see if they do it. Let's see if we get... Let's see if we have any sway over this Lost Kingdom. We still, we still have some spectating happening. These, these, um, these armies needing a little bit of warmth, so they stayed for the fire. Well done. Well done on that. Here come the scouts again, because you know why not? I just actually just stopped getting those. <laughs> now we're back at it. I just want a battle report, guys. Just shoot it over my way. How do you say battle report in Korean? And yes, they are, in fact, building NS-89, are building flags over to double rally just in case AABC, which I do think they will. I think AABC will continue to hold. You know how long it takes for Alliance Fortresses to burn, folks. This is a substantial amount of time. This is not happening overnight. This is going to take a full day to burn this 130 health alliance fortress down. Seriously, though. Battle report. There we go. And I'll throw a I'll throw a heart in there. Oh, stupid pace messages more slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, there we go. Hotter, hotter. Present, present. Or here, here. That's probably here, here. Translator at its finest. I just, I just need the report. Show me the report. This needs to happen in a big way. This is what you wanted. <laughs> you wanted the world to know. That's why you have so many people here to tell the story. You want the world to know, do not defy the leadership in 889 or you will be burned. This is your chance. This is your chance. Tell my grandmother private. I don't know what that means. I just want to see a red box show up right here so I can click it and it tells me a bunch of numbers and stuff. Come on. There was quite a few players in that ar that rally. Somebody has to have the stones to share their story. Come on guys, you can do it. Dang, I was hoping. I was hoping. While we're waiting for the actual battle report, here's a battle report from 93. Oh my. This was a city rally, it looks like. It's an, uh, no, no, flag. I'm sorry. That is a substantial report. Look at that. 47,000 dead to 270,000 dead. My goodness. Tangling, doing tangling things. Do we have a report? We do not. Can we please get a report? I'm trying to see if anybody else PM'd me it. 
and it hasn't. It doesn't look like it's been the case. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here's pictures. Hopefully this isn't the report that I already showed you. Maybe. I already have that. Not helpful. Not helpful. Come on. You guys have to be able to do this. What's there to imprison? You can't imprison the Alliance Fortress. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. Here, let me go ahead and cancel these. Well done. All right. Maybe another rally incoming. I, I just I want to see the battle report, guys. Come on. My goodness. This is. Blasphemous. And counterproductive to getting the word out about your kingdom and its politics. <laughs> Got to kick out of the Alliance Fort imprisonment. I will bring my main in 916 if you won't come out of Imperium. Will you use special ticket for 52 million player? Depends on the 52 million player. Seriously, report though. Report. Report. How do you say report? Hold on. In Korean. Hold on one sec. We're going to make this work, guys. English to Korean. What does it say? What does it say? Let's stop fueling further possible. About four hours to watch one minute of our blind brother. Porn history to John. But I don't know what that means. You have to look it up in the chat above. What? No, no, they didn't do a report. They didn't send a report. All right, share, new report, please. All right, this is what Google Translate says, share new report, please, is. There we go. Let's see if this works. I cannot tolerate. It is intolerable. Pretend to be nice, okay. I've got it. <gasps> He's got it. How are you going to give it to me? I speak Google Translate. Come on, guys. Don't let me down. We are literally recording right now. Don't let me down. To kill you. Come on, guys. Oh, I can't make y'all wait any longer. Let's turn into a 35-minute video. <laughs> I 
just want a report. Hold on. Let me type something else. Someone from 889. Be brave. Share the report. Let's see if this translates well. There we go. <laughs> this is my last try, guys. This is my last try, and then... And then we will have to wrap it up. But again... Is it? Dang it. Okay, I'm trying. Either way. <laughs> Somebody watched the stream last night. <laughs> Seriously, somebody has to break ranks and give me a report. guys this shouldn't be that hard I think we should be able to get the report Unfortunate. Okay. Well, guys, this has been the first blood of Lost Kingdom 111, 889 holding their valuable intelligence to their chest on the second report, but not the first one. We got a little taste, but the first one. I will say, this has been a great start <laughs> to Lost Kingdom 111. This is Dragothian here. I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Don't jump into Lost Kingdom unless you got your shit together. Have a good day. Peace out. Cheers.